Hello, it's Ken from Pine Finders here. We've just had another delivery of old pine furniture. It's the 18th of May, and I'll show you the items that have just arrived. First of all, a large kind of triple wardrobe, bedroom, bedroom unit. It's got a glazed door in the middle, drawers at the bottom, and doors either side. I'm going to show you the tickets with the prices on and the code numbers, so you know which, what the code number is of the, each item, which is the top. Those are the prices. The first price is in the bare wood, as it is. The second price is when it's all done up and waxed, so those are the difference in prices. And those are the measurements, height, width, depth, and on wardrobes we put the internal depth as the second depth measurement. So those should be straightforward, so I'll just give you a, a brief look of the labels so you can make a note of those. This wardrobe totally dismantles for delivery. Next we've got another smaller wardrobe with a drawer at the bottom. Obviously I'll be taking better photographs of everything and videos of everything in due course. So there's that wardrobe. This one totally dismantles as well. Prices and dimensions. And there's the drawer at the bottom. And then a very large wardrobe. Very tall, very large, lovely old wardrobe. This one, again, totally dismantles. We have a one-piece wardrobe. So this doesn't dismantle, this one. It's got a drawer at the bottom and two doors. This could be shelved if you'd like us to put a shelf in. Obviously all these wardrobes we can put shelves in for you or put hanging rails, whatever you like. So you can talk to us about that. Nice little dresser base cupboard. Then this is upside down at the moment, but it's a hang, I don't know, does that work if I do that? I don't think it does. There you go, so not really. But it's a an upside down, it will be a glazed cupboard, wall hanging cupboard. Then we've got, if I come round, now I'm going to come and start from here. There's a six drawer chest of drawers, English one. Needs a bit of work, this one. Just come in. I'm going to strip it all down, take the wax off, re-wax it. And the drawers need sorting out. So I've only got 225 as it is and 397 when it's all done because it needs a bit of work doing to the drawers. Got some nice brass handles there in the middle. A small, was it, is it, well, it's a very late Victorian chest of drawers with a new top. Then we've got another cupboard. Two drawers with two doors below and it's got a shelf inside. Uh, that's already on the website. Another, sh another cupboard, two door cupboard. And this has got two shelves inside. And we've got a tall cupboard with a drawer at the top. Again, this has, this one's got three shelves inside. There's two pairs of bedside cupboards, very similar actually. One's a bit smaller than the other, with the little cubby holes in. That's 
the smaller pair and then the larger pair here. These are a matching pair. I haven't got dimensions on. Um, yeah, these are a matching pair, so they're exactly the same. You can see the other two, those are opposites. So just something to bear in mind. I don't know if the door could be turned round so it hinges on the other side. Possibly we can look at that if, it, if, if needed. Got a large four-door dresser base cupboard. This has been made from reclaimed pine. Then we've got an old, lovely old table with turned legs. Just come in, it's got a drawer at the end. You can see it needs cleaning up. So it needs a bit of work doing to it. Has it got to draw both ends? I had a feeling it did. Yes, it's got to draw at both ends. That's a lovely old table, that is. That's the height of the table, and that's the leg room. That's from the floor to the underside. So that's where you. That's the leg room. Um, usually, I would recommend a leg room of twenty-four inches. So we could actually just um, put something underneath, attach something to the bottom of the feet to lift it up an inch, and that might be an idea. So something to think about. Then, not easy to see, but there's another table on top. With slightly shaped legs, 1920s, I think this one. And again, that's the leg room 24. We've got four chairs. I don't know how well you can see those. A set of four chairs, 1920s, I think. So that price is for the set of four, obviously. Then we have, oh yes, this big, this is from an old shop. It's got sliding doors, so glazed doors above, three shelves inside, and then underneath you've got sliding doors. That, that does slide shut. Yeah, so two sliding doors on the bottom as well, so that's quite nice. We've got an old cupboard here. English with two shelves inside. Nice old English cupboard. Three drawer chest of drawers. Did I show you the label on that? Shop, I didn't, shop thing. I didn't, no, sorry. So we're going back to this glazed top cupboard here. That's the label. Just dimensions right back to... So we've done this chest of drawers, back to this little cupboard, sweet little cupboard here. Then we've got a three-door lovely dresser base with curved edge curved edges. Next to that, a large dresser reclaimed. This has been made recently, but it's a lovely thing. Very big. Lots of drawers, glazed top. Then we've got this tall, slim cupboard. With a single door. We could put sh shelves in there, or it could be a um, child's wardrobe, possibly. I don't know if it's deep enough. 15 inches internal depth, so it might be okay for small hangers, tiny hangers. Very sweet. Bread cupboard, larder cupboard. Mm. 
next to that we've got a pair of tall skinny cupboards tall slim cupboards I'll come back so you can have a better look at those so I'm selling these separately so the left hand one is this one and the one the door opens to the right is this one Next, we have, now has this been, that's been done. Oh yes, the very old dresser. Nice little dresser. It's really sweet, this is. Then Victorian linen press. With two small drawers, drawers over one very deep drawer at the bottom, which is very unusual. Really strange to have drawer that deep, and it's got fitted shelves inside. Can't see that very well. Um, these shelves possibly could be removed, and we could put a hanging rail in the top because it's quite deep inside. So. That's um, that's a possibility. It is deep enough for hanging in, inside in the top. So, although the shelves are fitted, then we could we could do that for you. And another wardrobe, antique pine wardrobe. This is a lovely one. Nice shape at the bottom. What's that? A love heart on the bottom. Look, oh. Totally dismantles this. Oh, the linen press comes apart as well. So that should go up most stairways. Um, then we've got this final wardrobe. I'll come over here so to get a better look at it. Because this is a stunner. And it's got two drawers at the bottom. So that is everything, I think that's just arrived. If there's anything you need, you would like more information about, or if you're interested in anything, um, then let me know. And as I said, obviously we will be taking photographs of everything separately and video, a video of everything as well, a close up video. I've also got my Facebook thing working now. So if you wanted a live broadcast of everything, I can show you around like I am now. I can show you around live while talking to you on the other phone if there's anything you wanted to look at specifically, maybe close-ups or anything. So that's very easy to do if you're on Facebook. If not, I've got a guest login page you can use. If you're not on Facebook, I can talk you through the very easy process of just logging in via my guest login page and you can see anything. So I hope there's something that you might be interested in and I hope to see you soon.